minute. Yeah. We got the, we got a little mini rivalry over here. Nah, no, this isn't a mini rivalry. Like, this is the this, this is, is the like West. If the you main. know, if you know, this is the Westchester rivalry. These if two you know. players have been dodging each other. Besides the crew battle thing for like weeks. Yeah. Like one week it will be like C coming through farm and encore. Then a different week Quid yeah, will come through half the time and farm encore. And now we finally have a crazy encore major thing today. And we got both C and Quid playing at this game one right here. Both in winners number one. This could go either way. Best of three. After this round. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're 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 winners quarters right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. Uh, Quid didn't go for the three. Goes for the down smash too for him. Very uncharacteristic from Quid. But C's not gonna care, just takes advantage of it anyway. Good stall right there, tries to delay the invincibility just a little bit longer. And C barely almost takes the stock. Barely not gonna kill. Oh my oh. god, and this time's a grab right there and Quid, like a madman, immediately dash attacking. That bear. Very hard to beat. Awesome. Yeah, the only the only character in this matchup that Paolo struggles with is his Squirtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quid already knew that I, I can I, yeah. once Ivysaur can't make it with his own vine whip, then you got you got Charizard and the Charizard doesn't make it then GG's to that. Oh he could have had the jab Yeah, I I get the I like what he did there, but he also could have just jabbed him right there. Yeah. You don't know if they're gonna attack. Ooh, oh, what quick. a nasty conversion from Quid right that's, there. That's a, that's, a, that's a quick classic, I am. He just starts farting on everyone. He treats, ah. he uses Ivysaur like it's warrior. <laughs> Bro, come on. <laughs> Double Waff. Oh my god. Upper's <laughs> basically a strong as Waff, man. Anyway. Ooh. You have a, I wouldn't say relatively even. It's like, there's a bit of a gap in a Quid's favor. Yeah. But like, it's something that like, it's something that can't be swung very easily. I want to like see how CC will play this matchup right here against Squirtle. Because he seems to be struggling against this Squirtle right here. It's trying hard. to find some type of hit. And it's not even, it's, it's a follow thing. Because Follow doesn't really like fighting short characters. Yeah. And Squirtle's one of those characters that you have to have absolute patience on when to punish and when not to punish. It's not even just patience. It's just like, it's very hard when like Squirtle can be so invasive and like, like, Squirtle can find so many openings on Paulo and eat. And, like, Squirtle can also water gun if Paulo if gets too patient. Yeah. So it's like, it's just very hard for Paulo. But we've got the Ivy for right now. And yeah, this is C's chance to try to reverse the entire situation. Tries to call up the jump, but C's not going to fall for the bait yet. And nice explosive flame landing, knowing yeah. that Quid wanted to go right back to the corner. 78%, not that, not impossible. Oh, uh, messes up the nair timing. That. He needed that there. Okay. He needs Quid to go back to Ivysaur and Charizard a lot more. And, and Quid knows that C wants him to change, but he's going to do his the best of his ability to kind of consistently stay at Squirtle to get all of the hits in. Yeah, I think... Oh, oh my god, that confirmed from there. That is ridiculous. Another one. Quid's going to take a game one. Oh, two times in a row. I was about to say, I definitely like the game plan right there, right? It's like, you just use the evasiveness and like the... The super small Squirtle, kind of like neutral. Yeah. To like get that one hit in, and then you just you're just able to Ivy Sword. Yeah, because a lot of people get, they get confused where it's like, oh, you know, like sometimes Paolo wins, but sometimes PT wins. And it's like I only say it's even because Squirtle carries that matchup. Like Ivy Sword is and like Ivy Sword's drift is kind of trash, and Charizard is just. Charizard, you're like really big. Charizard. But fun fact is that Charizard is faster than Squirtle. Yeah. Not too many people know that. Charizard is faster than Squirtle, and and has like the outer shield, like the outer shield game, to like uh, be very threatening against all this. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a very good point. I forgot about that. Yeah. That Charizard does have an outer shield game, slightly better than Squirtle's. I don't know. That'll be kind of. That, that'll that's be what I'm saying. Of, like kind of Charizard's up is kind of nutty. I'm talking about Squirtle's. It's okay. Yeah. Like if you expect it to happen, then you can get a heavy punish on it, which is kind of why you're you're not seeing Quid use Waterfall like a madman like you would normally do. I mean, Squirtle can also just like come like Squirtle can sometimes combo out of shield, which is very kind yeah. of like well, that's a very because Squirtle has more play. options. Like I, I got aerials out of shield, I can just take my time, let it go my shield, I'll be out of shield. Actually, yeah. I actually really like that bear off of the platform. Very good, um, like, that was a very good pull. Tries to cheese him with the classic and Quid not gonna take it. Yeah. That's so, to go for the that is so surprised. irritating every time I see them 
both him and Noku do that with Ivysaur. It's like they have the, they have a good advantage state when it comes to the to the ledge, and they'll make it look like they're gonna go for the spike and not really go for it, and then uses it as a condition. It's kind of like a riskless play though, because like nothing happened, like nothing bad happened for you. Oh, like, woo, that uh, was nice. C wanted to give out a message like, hold up, you try to spike me? No flame oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, the Nair Flames. Up air, another up air coming out from C, 52%. Palatina, Palatina with max rage is not fun to deal with right now. Oh, yeah. Platform tech chase. Oh, I don't know what type of godly DI quit did, did they with Charizard to not land on the platform. But a beautiful pivot forward tilt is going to finally make CC lose that stock. Oh, no. CC? CC. Oh, oh, my God, I'm bugging out C. right now. It's just CC. I am bugging. Up air barely not gonna kill a Oh my god, calls out the switch and nice timely air dot to switch. Oh, oh what a great read right there. And it's gonna take 48. And it's still going. Someone stop this man. Alright, badly time. Actually, it wasn't badly time, he just did it fastball at the back here. Alright, this is. I wanna see CC be a little patient, but perfect punish right there. Quid just misspacing it just a tad bit. Jab lock. All right, wants to continue. Back air. All right, CC has to ledge cancel somehow to get out of this disadvantage state. Oh, down here. Oh, what an aggressive up air from CC. And the two frame coming out. Oh, what a beautiful recovery from C. Not going to fall for the, for the ledge just yet. 44%. Oh. All right, this is where he has to be patient at. Good bait. Back here. Calls out the auto article, but Quid not gonna get hit by it. And another back throw is gonna come and do it. 81. Oh, this is completely reversal of what happened like last game. Yeah. Yeah. Like instead of Quid now, CC's getting all of the momentum yeah. right now. All because Quid changed it to Ivy Sword. He's not falling for the Ivy Sword gimmicks and the switch to Charizard is not gonna help Quid. CC putting it into a game three scenario. That was very good composure right there, because that entire game two, Quid was just all over C. I wonder where Quid will go. He's just gonna I'm actually very they're gonna curious. run it back, miss most likely. Yeah, bro, it's gonna be so lame. Z T head hopping at the back. Oh, I see. <laughs> Poor man. Oh man, all right, uh, all right, game three. I'm surprised they they made for the change, the uh, the stage switch. Oh, uh, probably they want. Probably Quid wants a uh, shorter blast zone. It's the same. It's kind of a, a similar format of P2, but PT can kill slightly earlier than normal. So I, I can kind of see why. And I, oh my God, actually, now that I think about it, Ivysaur, Ivysaur gimmicks is gonna happen. That's true. Here. That's true. I forgot true. about that. Every t now that I think about it, every time I see people letting Quid get um small battlefield. Ivy Sword just somehow clutches it out with a crazy that read. Hit but him? C, oh, no. he said, I got my own read. Wait reads. a minute, wait I a minute. I don't care about this man's Ivy Sword. Wait a minute. The right roll goes hard. Wait a Look minute. Look at my Palatina moving right now. Casual. Oh, all right. No, no more airplanes. And that right now, both of them duking it out right here. Down here. Oh, but back here. Great work. Puts on a crazy pressure right here in an immediate change. This is C's chance to do it. Oh, no. That tried could be. He okay. tried to, it would actually would have been a kill conversion right there. I forgot about the Razor Lee type chase. I don't think that would have killed that 57. Not yet, but it would have put Quid in the crit. Oh, no oh, way. No. All right, oh, all right. no. He okay. gets out of the job, Jake. But he's still in such a bad situation. He took <laughs> 100. C? Down one stock three. The C's, C's the said, look. Crazy, I said, look, you might be Westchester's best. But I'm the Westchester dog, man. I'm the MVP of the whole venue. Uh, I'm going to show you why. Palatina like got some Jane. <laughs> if, anyone, if anyone can do it, it's Quiz Ivysaur. Right. That was a great dare out of shoot. We're going to see what Quiz Ivysaur can do as soon as he gets out of that uh, at disadvantage. All right. Oh, oh good no. usage dash of the attack. dash attack. That was so smart. Probably dash attack. Oh, no. That was a great air dodge. Oh, okay. an immediate grab and barely DI's Divine Whip. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, all right, he's all all right. barely, barely gets that. Tries to get the jump re. Oh. Right now, Bear. this is a very fast, pa a fast paced game right here for both of these players. Tries to get the jump re from Divine Whip, but C gonna go right behind him and gets him with another jab. Goes for a jab. I'm surprised he went for up for jab there instead of like a down throw. Yeah, I'm guessing C's trying to 
utilize the horizontal blast zone from small battlefield, but Quid is just going to down air him, yeah. erasing the, the, the entire momentum. 100%. Let's oh, see. Is, no. is C's going to be a choker or a closer? Oh, wait. Uh, 127. We're going to find out. Nice stall from no Quid, so. using all of the invincibility, smash. but not enough to get out of that entire up smash hitbox wow. right there. And C convincingly taking 2 1 over Quid at winner's side. Yeah. Uh, wow. That was. Damn.